Welcome to my second favorite type of video that I like to produce on this channel. What am I talking about, you may ask? Keep watching and you'll find out. So David Ayer was originally contracted to direct Suicide Squad 2 after Warner Brothers was initially impressed with his original cut of the movie. Then they reneged on that and canceled his original movie Blight once test audiences didn't like it, causing them to do reshoots so they could use Suicide Squad to attempt to make Guardians of the Galaxy type money. So later on, when word got out that Warner Brothers was in fact on that bullshit, they apologized to David Ayer by hiring him to direct the upcoming Gotham City Sirens, starring Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn and a yet to be cast Catwoman and Poison Ivy. And now you know why we're in this situation. Now because David Ayer is busy with Gotham City Sirens, there's definitely been a small list of directors that Warner Brothers has gathered regarding who's going to direct the Suicide Squad sequel. And recently, as Street Fighter likes to randomly let us know while we're waiting for a match to start in the lobby, a new challenger has approached. So for this Reader's Reacts, I thought it would be interesting to take a look at the shortlist regarding the directors that Warner Brothers is currently entertained regarding who they want to direct Suicide Squad 2. Let's see, let's start with Ruben Fleischer. I don't have anything funny to say about this man. Okay, so the movies that he has directed is Zombieland and Gangster Squad and he, uh, he, he, he's, he's directing the Venom movie. That's, that's honestly the most disappointing thing I've heard all day. I say that because whereas I can't really speak that much on Zombieland because I haven't seen it, I loved Gangster Squad. But more than likely, I doubt that he's in for directing Suicide Squad 2 because he's making this Venom movie. Let's see, the next director is Mel Gibson. Okay. So I'm not gonna lie. When they released the news that Mel Gibson was being courted to direct Suicide Squad, I, I just, I just, I, I, like, I do not understand the thought process behind Warner Brothers' decision-making skills at all. I mean, the dude went on record and said that he thought that Batman v Superman was a piece of shit. So of course Warner Brothers entertained the idea of him directing Suicide Squad 2. That just makes all the sense. So here's a question, readers. If I saw one of the white supremacist trolls that left comments on my videos in the past, why would I turn around and go, hey, thanks for the criticism you gave me earlier. How would you like to work for me? Now, this isn't me saying that I don't think Mel Gibson is an awesome director. I think he's pretty good. I, I just couldn't help but to do the confused dog head tilt when I first heard that news. Plus, according to his IMDB, it looks like he's busy with a lot of acting and directing gigs. Then there's Jonathan Levine. This dude looked like he's still in film school. This dude looked like he's constantly trying to hide the fact that he got plastered at a tailgate party the night before while he's at his 9 to 5. This dude looked like his dad got him this job. And according to the IMDB, the only film that he's done of notoriety was Warm Bodies. I say notoriety because he also recently directed Snatched. You, you, you remember that movie? The one that came out earlier this year? Exactly. And then we have Daniel Espinosa. Okay, who fused Christopher Nolan and Quentin Tarantino? Okay, so he's directed Safe House, which I thought was actually pretty good. And he also recently did that space movie with Jake Gyllenhaal called Life, so he definitely has some chops on him. But it also looks like he has some directing gigs coming up soon though, so he's probably out too. And then we have Jaume Colet-Serra. I'm pretty sure I butchered the pronunciation of that name. Okay, he's the current front runner for Suicide Squad, and the only director on this list who looks like he's M. Night Shyamalan's disappointed father. Oh! Oh, so not only did he direct that one movie about the shark and the surfer that I don't care about, but he also directed two Liam Neeson action movies and Orphan, AKA the better version of The Good Son. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can definitely see a Suicide Squad movie directed by him being pretty good. You know, if Warner Brothers has not forced him to film a more family-friendly version after his original vision and just super glued the two together. 
So in this list of directors that they have either considered or they're currently considering to direct Suicide Squad 2, I would have to say that my two favorites are Daniel Espinosa and this guy. Rubens, R Rubens just been tainted by Sony. There's no hope for him left. Jonathan Levine is, no. And I'm pretty sure Mel Gibson ain't even thinking about this shit. <laughs> he probably laughed at old dude who called him up letting him know that Warner Brothers was considering him to direct Suicide Squad before hanging up in his face. And yes, I'm pretty sure Mel Gibson can be that level of petty. I've seen that interview regarding Edge of Darkness. So readers, your homework assignment for the day. Write in the comments section below who you think you would want to see direct Suicide Squad 2. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, because I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and every other Friday. But until then, this is Redis101. Class dismissed.